thought we'd stop in and see Uncle Claude. He was in exile. He always sent us oranges at Christmas time. Well, last year a month, he said, it lasts me a year. care for Uncle Claude, but he had a lot of mementos, confederate money, little reading things they call maids and servants, yeah, kind of stuff that was kind of like sentimental, and he had this really, really expensive portrait of Robert E. Lee. I thought it was the ultimate thing in Crete. Worth $4,000 now, and by the time you inherited it, you're gonna have a $14,000 piece of art. <laughs> Scrambled for the door, I wanted something more like a bird outside. This guy's too creepy for even me. Mommy gotta ride down to the next about the wiser place that's got a swimming pool. This is the south, and I gotta learn some shit. We left old Uncle Claude, but he wasn't a fraud. Next thing you know, I'm 17 years old. I inherited a portrait of Robert E. Lee. Inside, I couldn't abide to the idea of living with this thing. I wanted to throw it in the first dumpster I could find. But better heads prevailed. Fourteen thousand is absurd if you take it downtown, Chicago, one of those old buildings in the back of Got the elevator. <laughs> Where to, sir? Seventh floor, sir. Ah, like a portrait of Robert E. Lee. <laughs> Me, Daddy, have one of them. <laughs> but that's a real expensive one. How much is it worth? I said, well, maybe you know. The elevator operator said, I'm taking you to a different floor. It's called the White Way. He took me up there, 14th floor somewhere in this old building in Chicago. <laughs> Gates opened up, young man came up to me. I see his eyes glimmering in his eyes. That's a portrait of Robert E. Lee, isn't it? Six, seven, eight. I said, make it 25. And I was eyeballing the elevator. Hey, uh, it's the elevator operator. How fast can you drive? Took on 25 fives. Very fast. Let's get out of here. Give them their old picture and get the up. Go. called 
portrait of Robert E. Lee. Sorry about the long time. <laughs>